Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my dear students. Welcome to the online class of Birgans Pilot Government House High School. How are you? Hope you all are well and safe with your family. As the school is closed, you are perhaps preparing your study at your home. And we also are trying to continue your online classes. So, dear students, please try to watch all the classes attentively and regular, regularly and practice them at your home. Uh, dear students, you know me very well. I am Laila Froza, Assistant Teacher English, Birgans Pilot Government High School. In continuation of my previous classes, today I will continue the topic, Transformation of Sentences. And this is the class for 9 and 10. In my previous class, I have already discussed the rules of transformation. And we came to know the rules of changing simple sentences into complex. Today, I will start the rules of changing simple sentences compound. So today we will discuss the rules of how you can change simple sentence into compound. Before going to the rules, I would like to remind you that you must remember the definition. Simple sentence you will get only one subject and one finite verb. When you want to make it compound, you will have to make two principal clause and you will have to connect it with a coordinating conjunction like and, but, or, otherwise, not only, but also, etc. So this is the main formula. You will have to apply for changing simple sentences into compound. Now, we will go to the particular rules. Okay, my dear learners, let's start from rule number one. In simple sentence, if you get this type of construction, that you will have two plus adjective plus two and then verb, then you will have to make it compound, making two clauses and you will have to connect it with a coordinating conjunction and so, let's see an example. I am too tired to move. Here, two adjective, two and then verb. If you want to make it compound, at first you have to make a clause. And look at the chains. I am very tired. In place of two, you have to use very. I am very tired and so I can't move. Another example. The load is too heavy for me to carry. The compound will be the load is very heavy and I cannot carry it. Here in place of two I have used very. And here another thing because of for me I have to take a subject in the second clause I. The subjective form of me I. This is the subject of the second clause. I can't carry it. So remember, in case of 2 plus adjective plus 2 or verb, you have to use and so between the two clauses. Next rules. Rule number 2, present participle. If you get present participle, that means verb plus ing in a simple sentence, then you will have to make two clauses and connect the clauses with the coordinating conjunction and. Look at the example. Closing the door, I went out for a walk. Closing the door, this phrase will be turned into a clause. I closed the door. Then you have to bring and and after that went out for a walk. So this sentence has now become a compound sentence. I closed the door and went out for a walk. Now, dear learners, 
here comes rule number 3 if you get any simple sentence with be then what will you do in this case to make two clauses you have to choose a subject then you have to choose a verb am is are was or were in the as the finite verb and then object or extension and after that using and so you will have to write the second clause let's see at the example sentence being honest he succeed being honest this phrase should be turned into a clause he was honest because of being here you have to take a verb was and i have shown you in the very beginning i am is are was where these verbs will be used in place of being he was honest and he succeeded another example the water being hot i could not drink again you will have to turn this phrase into a clause the water was very hot and then you have to take a conjunction and and the second clause will remain unchanged i could not drink it the water was very hot and i could not drink it so if you get being in the simple sentence you will have to take a verb am is are was or are for the for making a clause now comes rule number 4 perfect participle yes if you get any simple sentence that have that has perfect participle and you know what is perfect participle have plus ing having that means having and then past participle so if you get this type of simple sentence in compound sentence for making a clause you have to take the verb had and then you have to use the past participle form of verb then object or extension after that you will use the coordinating conjunction and and after that you have to write the second clause look at the example having eaten rice i went to bed so the compound of this sentence will be i had eaten rice and went to bed having eaten rice this phrase has been turned into a clause i had eaten rice and the second clause remains unchanged another example the sun having set we started for home again this phrase should be turned into a clause the sun had set and we started for home so in this way if you get the use of perfect participle in the simple sentence you can make it compound compound by using had and the past participle or bar and after making two clauses you will connect it with the coordinating conjunction and okay now go to the next rule okay my dear learners now comes rule number five without plus bar plus ing this is another construction of a simple sentence if you get this type of sentence then to make it complete compound you have to make the first clause in the imperative and then you have to use or otherwise and then you have to write the second clause look at the example sentence without trying hard you will fail and according to the instruction i have written work hard in the imperative sentence work hard or you will fail i have taken the coordinating conjunction or and then the second clause is written here another example without reading attentively you can't pass read attentively or you can't pass 
So, dear students, you have seen if you find without plus verb plus ing, you have to use or otherwise as a so, uh, coordinating conjunction and add the two clauses. Now comes rule number six because of. Because of is because of if you get in a simple sentence because of, then you have to take the first clause and second clause combined with the coordinating conjunction and so. Look at the example and it will be then clear. Because of his being ill, he could not come. So, because of his being ill, this phrase have to be, has to be turned into a clause. He was ill. And so, I have written and so and then the second clause. He could not come. Another example, because of poverty, he could not buy a new shirt. The compound of this sentence will be, he was poor and so he could not buy a shirt. So, you observe that everywhere you have to make the phrase of simple sentence into a clause when you make it compound sentence. Okay, go to the next rule. Okay, my dear learners, here another rule. Rule number seven, by plus gerund plus future clause. That means if you find by plus bar plus ing and the next clause in the future tense, then you will have to make it compound by making the first clause in imperative sentence. Then you will have to use a connect uh, coordinating conjunction and and then the second clause. Look at the example. By working hard, you will prosper. So, the first clause will be work hard and you will prosper. So, remember if you find gerund after gerund, future clause, you will have to write the sentence in imperative sentence, the first clause. But in the next rule, look here, if you find past clause after gerund, then there will be change. In the first clause, you can't use imperative sentence. Then we, you will have to write the clause in affirmative or a statement sentence. By working hard, he prospered in life. Here you can see after gerund, he prospered in life. Here is past tense here. So, if you want to make it compound, in this case, you will have to write, he worked hard and prospered in life. So, always remember the difference, future clause and past clause. In two cases, the changing will be different. Now comes rule number 9. In spite of, despite. Yes, you know. In simple sentences, there are in spite of or despite. So, how can you make it a compound? In this case, again you will have to make two clauses. But here you will have to use but as a coordinating conjunction. Look at the example and then it will be more clear to you. In spite of his poverty, he did not lose heart. He was poor, but he did not lose heart. This first phrase has been turned into a clause, he was poor. And I have written here, but did not lose his heart, second clause. Again, despite being rich, he is unhappy. So, the compound of this sentence will be, he is rich, but he is unhappy. You may write it or you may not write it. The same thing. So, remember here, if you get in spite of or despite in the simple sentence, you have to use but as a coordinating conjunction to make it a compound sentence. Uh, so, dear learners, for today, I would like to finish here. There are more rules and I hope in my next class, I will discuss the 
another rules for you till then try to practice at your home and try to understand the rules of changing these sentences and again i remind you to be aware to uh, stay at your home and continue your study because you will have to appear in your ssc exam when time will come so dear students stay safe stay at your home and continue your study hope to see you in my next class till then thank you and allah hafiz